Hi, I'm Kweku. I am a pharmacist. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the medications ciprofloxacin. We're going to be taking a look at some of the uses, how best to take it, some best practices and precautions, and obviously some side effects or potential side effects that you should be aware of. So first things first, what is ciprofloxacin? Well, ciprofloxacin is an antibiotic. It is used to kill bacteria that cause certain diseases. It belongs to a class of antibiotics we call fluoroquinolones, and it has quite an extensive list of uh, potential uses that I'm not gonna go through all of them individually, but what I'll do is I'll put it on the screen now, and you can take a look at it. You can pause the video and take a look at it. But some of the key ones include the management of urinary tract infections, chronic bronchitis, a bacterial conjunctivitis, we call pink eye, and a whole um, host of them. Now, how to take ciprofloxacin? Well, Cipro comes either as a tablet, that is an immediate release tablet, an extended release tablet, or a suspension, or granules that you add uh, liquid to to form a suspension. The immediate release tablet and the suspension are typically taken twice a day, and it can be taken with or without food. That means that it can be taken without regard to food. However, if it upsets the stomach, then taking it with food may help in some instances. The extended release tablet, on the other hand, is typically taken once a day. Best practice is to take Cipro at the same time every day. Now, this helps in two areas. Number one, it helps you to remember to take your dose so you don't forget it. And number two, it helps you maintain a consistent concentration of the medication in your body. When it comes to the length of time or the duration of your prescription, it will typically depend on the condition for which it is being managed. So do well to follow directly or carefully whatever instructions are on your prescription label. For example, in some instances, say for example, in the treatment of gonorrhea, it is not unusual to see either the suspension or the immediate release tablet giving us one single dose. Unless otherwise directed, it is very important that you finish all your pills. Obviously, if you have a reaction or there's some extenuating circumstance where you cannot finish your medication, just let your doctor know so that they can take other actions on your behalf. Now, let's look at some best practices or some precautions that you should consider if you are taking Cipro. The first one is not to take Cipro concurrently with antacids or products containing aluminum, zinc, magnesium, or calcium. Best practice is to take these products about six hours before your dose of Cipro or about two hours after the dose of Cipro. When they are taken concurrently, when these products are taken concurrently with Cipro, what happens is that it affects the absorption of Cipro. So it may not be as effective as you would have expected it to be. And same thing goes to products containing high amounts of calcium. So for example, I can think of things like dairy milk or even uh, orange juice or juices that are fortified with calcium. The second precaution you need to be aware of is that Cipro may increase the chances of tendonitis. Now, tendonitis is the inflammation of the tendons, which are tissues that connect the bone to the muscle. In very um, serious or rare cases, there may actually be a rupture of the tendon where the tendon is actually uh, damaged. So uh, be very careful, be on the lookout. If you have a history of tendonitis or any kind of inflammation in the tendons, be sure to let your doctor know. The interesting thing is that it can happen to everybody, but people over 60 are more likely or are more prone to develop such tendonitis or tendon rupture when they take Cipro. One of the most common areas that tendonitis may be observed is in the ankles, but it is also not unusual to also see it even in the shoulders and in other body areas. So pro tip, if you are going to be active or you're going to go to the gym while you take Cipro, just be careful, watch out for the exercises that you do. Do not put any extra strain on some of these body parts, especially your ankles. Be careful if you're going to do any squats, things like that. Make sure you get clearance from your doctor to make sure that it is okay to engage in those activities while you take Cipro. Ciprofloxacin is also noted to interact with quite a few medications. I can think of a muscle relaxant like tizanidine. I can think of uh, birth controls. So while you take Cipro, make sure to let your doctor know all the medications or all the other prescriptions that you take so that they can tell whether it's Cipro is appropriate for you. Cipro may also affect your blood sugar levels. For some people, it may cause an increase. So do well to discuss with your doctor if you need to make any changes to your diet or if you may need to make any changes to your diabetic medications if you are taking any while you are on Cipro. Another precaution is that Cipro may make you extra sensitive to sunlight, a, a condition called photosensitivity. So uh, if, if at all possible, stay away from the sun or stay away from sunlight while you take Cipro. If not possible, use other protective uh, measures. You know, you can use a sunscreen, you can wear clothing that covers most parts of your body. Now some side effects. And with side effects, I've divided them into two categories. The first category is ones that are generally mild. They just generally don't require a call to the doctor's office. And these include dry mouth, nausea, headache, and trouble sleeping. Those ones are generally mild and they go away. 
The next set of side effects though, if they do okay, they are rare, but if they do okay, those are the ones that you should be paying a little bit more attention to and calling your doctor. And these include allergic reactions, if there's a skin rash, if there's any itching, hives, you know, swelling of the face, the lips, anything like that should definitely be reported to the doctor. Then we have heart rhythm changes. If you notice any fast or irregular heartbeat, or if there are any signs and symptoms of high blood sugar, such as being more thirsty, uh, being more hungry, having to urinate more often than normal. Uh, for some people, you must feel very tired and have blurry vision. Also, if you notice any mood and behavior changes, so it could be anxiety, nervousness, confusion, hallucinations, irritability, you know, hostility, and even for some people, uh, thoughts of suicide or suicidal ideation or self-harm. So high level overview of Cipro, hope you found some value in it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I will catch you on the next video and stay blessed.